Hi viewers, welcome to my channel SM Edge Talk. This is Dr. S Malligarjanan. In the last video, projection of lines part two, we have seen the drawing procedure of a line and two problems. In this part three video, we are going to see two more problems. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified. Okay, let us move into the video. In this video, the problems are asked from the topic of inclined to both the planes. The projection of lines are drawn in first angle projection using rotating line method. Third problem, one end C of a line CD is 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. D is 40 mm above HP. The length of the top view is 66 mm and it makes an angle 45 degree with the reference line. Draw the projections of the line and find the true length and true inclinations. Given data, it is given that top view length CD is 66 mm and the top view angle beta equal to 45 degree. The true length is not given here. Let us see how to draw the projections of the line CD with the given data. That is, we will see how to draw front view and the top view of the line CD. To get the projections, usually, a true line should be drawn by connecting first endpoint locus and second endpoint locus in one view. Then it should be projected to the first endpoint locus of the other view. After projection, it should be rotated to the second endpoint locus in that view. Now what you get is the projection of the line. In this example, you are getting a top view. To draw this, you should know the true length and its inclination but in the problem top view length and its inclination are given so we can apply the drawing procedure in a reversed manner that is a top view line should be drawn first by connecting first endpoint locus and second endpoint locus in that view then it should be rotated to the first endpoint locus of the same view after rotation it should be projected to the corresponding locus lines in the other view. Now what you get is the true length line. Based on this idea, we will see how to draw both the projections of the line. First, draw a reference line x, y. The position of the endpoint C is given as 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. For the first condition, 15 mm above HP, front view of point C should be drawn 15 mm above the XY line. So draw a thin horizontal line 15 mm above XY line. Mark a point anywhere on the left side of this line. This is the front view of the endpoint C, C dash. This line is called as locus of C dash. Next condition 20 mm in front of VP. So, Top view of point C should be drawn 20 mm below the XY line. Draw a thin horizontal line 20 mm below the XY line. This is locus of C. Now project the point C dash to locus of C vertically downward. It intersects the locus at a point C which becomes the top view of the endpoint C. The position of the second endpoint D is given as 40 mm above HP. So draw a thin horizontal line 40 mm above the XY line. This is called as locus of D dash. Top view length and its inclination are given. Using this, we can draw a top view line. So draw a thick line from the point C which is inclined downwards at 45 degree to the locus of C. The other endpoint of this line is point D. Now draw a horizontal thin line through the point D. This line is called as locus of D. Next, rotate the top view line to first endpoint locus. That is, draw an arc with point C as center and top view length CD as radius starts from point D. It cuts this locus of C at point D1. Project point D1 to locus of D dash vertically upward. 
you will get a point D1 dash. Join point D1 dash and point C dash by a thin line. This is a required true length line which got above the XY line. Measure the length of the true length line and its inclination. You will get the true length as 70 mm and true inclination with HP that is theta as 28 degree. Okay, we have finished the top view. Next, how do you draw the front view? We found true length from the drawing that is 70 mm. So, using this data, we can draw a true length below the XY line. It can be projected above the XY line and then we will get the front view once the projected line is rotated. So, draw an arc with point C as center and true length 70 mm as radius. It cuts the locus of D at point D2. Join point C and point D2 by a thin line. This is the required true length line which got below the XY line. Measure the angle of this true length line. You will get the true inclination with VP that is phi equal to 41 degree. Project point D2 to locus of C dash vertically upward. You will get a point D2 dash. Next, rotate C dash D2 dash line to second endpoint locus. That is, draw an arc with point C dash as center and C dash to D2 dash as radius. Start from point D2 dash. It cuts the locus of D dash at point D dash. Join point C dash and point D dash by a thick line. This is the required front view of the line CD. In order to check the correctness of your drawing, draw a projector to join the points D dash and D. If this projector is vertical, then what you draw is correct. Otherwise, it is wrong. Drawing has finished. Now, dimension the given data in the drawing such as top view length 66 mm, top view inclination 45 degree if not done. As per the question, we found true length and true inclinations. Write them neatly in the drawing sheet using HB pencil. Now you will get a clear idea about pencil usage by simply looking at the drawing. Always draw the front view and top view as thick using H pencil. Apart from these views, all the other lines arcs are drawn as thin lines by 2H pencil. Fourth problem, the top view of a 70 mm long line AB measures 66 mm while the length of its front view is 54 mm. Its one end edge is on HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections and determine its inclinations with HP and VP. It is given that the true length of the line AB as 70 mm, top view length as 66 mm and front view length as 54 mm. No inclinations are given. Now we are going to see how to draw the projections of the line AB with the given data. First, draw a reference line XY. The position of first endpoint A is given as on HP and 20 mm in front of VP. For the first condition on HP, front view of point A should be drawn on the XY line. So mark a point anywhere on the left side of the reference line XY. This is the front view of the endpoint A that is A dash. So the reference line XY also act as locus of a dash. Next condition 20 mm in front of VP. So top view of point A should be drawn 20 mm below the XY line. Draw a thin horizontal line 20 mm below the XY line. This is locus of A. Now project the point A dash to locus of A vertically downward. It intersects the locus at a point A which becomes the top view of the endpoint A. The position of second endpoint B is not given in the question. Instead, lengths of front view and the top view are given. Top view length only is not sufficient to draw the top view line. In addition to top view length, 
we need either top view angle or the position of second end point b that is locus of second end point but already we have drawn first end point locus that is locus of a try to remember what i said in the last problem that is to get the top view true length line above the xy line should be projected to the first end point locus below the xy line and rotated to the second end point locus in that view it means top view is recorded on the first end point locus before rotation so this length is top view okay after getting the top view in that first end point locus then only it should be rotated to the second end point locus so we can mark the top view length on the first end point locus below the xy line that is locus of a so mark the top view length 66 mm on locus of a its one end is already marked that is point a and the other end is point b1 that is the distance between a and b1 is nothing but top view length 66 mm now project point b1 vertically upward draw an arc with a dash as center and true length 70 mm as radius it cuts this vertical project arc at b1 dash join point a dash and point b1 dash by a thin line this is the required true length line which got above the xy line now draw a thin horizontal line through the point b1 dash this is called as locus of b dash draw another arc with a dash as center and front view length 54 mm as radius it cuts the locus of b dash at point b dash at the same time it cuts the xy line or locus of a dash at point b2 dash join point a dash and point b dash by a thick line this line is the required front view of the line ab project point b2 dash vertically downward draw an arc with a as center and true length 70 mm as radius it cuts the vertical project arc at b2 join point a and point b2 by a thin line this is the required true length line which got below the xy line now draw a thin horizontal line through the point b2 this is called as locus of b draw another arc with a as center and top view length 66 mm as radius it starts from point b1 and cuts the locus of b at point b join point a and point b by a thick line this line is the required top view of the line ab in order to check the correctness of your drawing draw a projector to join the points b dash and b if this projector is vertical then what you draw is correct otherwise it is wrong drawing has finished now dimension the given data in the drawing such as front view length top view length and true length it is asked to determine its inclinations with hp and vp it means we have to determine two true inclinations and two apparent inclinations totally four angles measure the true length line inclination with hp and vp you will get theta equal to 21 degree and phi equal to 41 degree similarly measure the front view line inclination with hp and top view line inclination with vp you will get alpha equal to 28 degree and beta equal to 45 degree as per the question we found all four inclinations write them neatly in the drawing sheet using hp pencil that's all about the problem in the forthcoming videos i will explain the other problems in projection of lines if you have not subscribed the channel yet support me by subscribing don't forget to click the bell icon by doing so you will get the notifications regularly also share this video to your friends thank you